hello. Didn't see you there. Just painting a painting. Wanna chat with me? back with another painting with Lisa. I just got back from Philly and from back home for Thanksgiving and I had such a great time and it gave me time to really think about what I want to talk about and I wanted to talk about self-reflection, meditation and really going inwards to get what you want and just to kind of really see if you're following the right path for you if that makes sense. So I have a canvas here. It's a 16 by 20, pretty thick uh, for my still life. So I figured if I'm gonna talk about meditation and self-reflection, I might as well do a still life because it really gives you the time to bear down, not even really think about what you're doing and kind of just draw and reflect on what you see. So I chose some of my favorite things here. Uh, plants I love, my dead cat Luna. <laughs> who's in that box right there, a uh, candle, some music, I love uh, headphones, music, that's my whole life, and then some books that I'm really interested in, and we're just gonna get into it. Let's see, I have an old dirty palette, but sometimes I like to work like that, so that way I know where all my colors are. I have a little bit of, I have some turpentine in here, which is really great for uh, cleaning and thinning down oil paints. We'll be working with some oil paints today, and just gonna get very creative. Nothing's gonna be super specific. I just want to paint. So let's get into it. So compositionally, I wanna start with this being somewhere around here. So I wanna just kinda draw that guy in before I start. And then from this angle, I have that box, Luna is right here and then this candle will go sort of right here doesn't it sound good don't you just love the sound it's almost like ASMR right like just hearing the sound of the the canvas I love it it's so therapeutic okay right, so we basically we have our sketch down um, so we can just get right into it I think let's see Let's actually start with this box here because then this is going to start to cover. Um, it's going to overlap. So let's start with that brown. Okay, so to create this box color, I'm kind of taking a little bit of yellow ochre. I might take a little bit of raw umber, not much though. Um, this will be for like the shadowy areas. And then just for a little bit of warmth, I'm taking some alizarin crimson. That'll warm up that yellowy brown. So I'm also taking a flat number 10 brush and with a little bit of the turpentine, I'm gonna start thinning down the ochre and maybe adding a little bit of red to that. Let's just do, going with simple shapes right now, starting very nice and thin. That way it makes it really easy to layer on top. So a lot of you asked me about talking about meditation and I think meditation is really great. Not only is it great for your like emotional health and your mental health to really sit down and think to yourself, like spending some time to yourself to really think and reflect on what's important to you on your past, your present, your future. You know, it's important for that, but it's also important to kind of gauge where you are in your life and if you're happy with where it's going or if you're happy with what you're doing with your life, you know? Um, sometimes we 
we go, we wake up, we go, 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 go. And we don't really take a moment to stop and think about, you know, is this what you want? How, how does this match up with your reality of how you wanted your future to be? And I think when I think about meditation and self-reflection, I like to break it down into past, present, future. So in the past, maybe you thought about, you had some dreams, you had some goals, you had some things you wanted to accomplish, right? And then you sit back and you think about, okay, well, here, this is where I am now. You know, is this, do I like where I am? Is there anything I can do to change it to create a better future for myself? And I think that's my favorite part of meditating and self-reflecting is to really think about those things and to feel something, you know, um, because like I said, when you're just up every day, go, 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 getting your life started, you're not really necessarily taking a step back to think and feel, you know, and so that's the part that I really love about reflecting. So if you think about your past, you might think to yourself, um, wow, there are some things that I really wish that I could have changed. Or maybe you think to yourself, you know what? I love where I am in my life and I'm glad that I took this road or I'm glad that I kept going. So what I find in reflecting is really thinking about the past sometimes and, and thinking to yourself, okay, are the things that I did in the past, are they good things? Did they benefit me? Did they benefit others? Or was I selfish? Was I unmotivated? Was I uninterested? Was I uninspired? Um, those sorts of things will really help you to form a more, I don't know, a more, I don't, I don't know what to say, a more comprehensive version of, of your present because you can start to think about, okay, well, this is what I did in the past unless you have amnesia and you just don't remember, but this is the, these are the things that I did in the past, taking accountability for it and saying, this is how it shaped my present. And now that I'm living in the present, because you are, and no matter what, it's always the present. It's always the present. It's always the present. It's always the present. So thinking about yourself and thinking about where you are right now, you can start to say, well, you know what? Maybe me reading books was beneficial. I'll keep doing that. I like that. Or maybe what you'll say is, you know what? I didn't read enough. Or maybe I didn't go out enough. Or I didn't explore enough. I didn't talk to enough people. I didn't enjoy myself enough. I didn't watch enough movies. I didn't do enough work. I did too much work. And I didn't neglected my family or my friends. Think about those things and how it's shaped your present. And once you do that, you can really start to do some of the work in changing or adapting or just keep going. You know, if if you like where you are and you like what you're doing with your life, that's perfect. Keep going. Maybe take some notes from the past and, and tweak something a little bit to be like, OK, you know, I like I like where I am. I like how that worked out. But you know what? Maybe if I did a little bit more of this, maybe if I studied a little bit more, Maybe if I watched less TV, I could be more involved with whatever it is that, you know, you want to do in your life. And so I think uh, taking accountability for where your life is presently, i.e. like now and now and now, then you can really uh, you can really do the work in changing and changing your future. And so in order to change your future, you really have to, like I said, reflect on the past and the present. And my favorite thing to ask myself is I'm just using brown as a base um, and then I'll darken it up from some, some of these black areas in the book. Um, but I just like the color value of this right now. But what my, fa my favorite thing to ask myself for the future is you know, um, where do I see myself? What do I want now? Now that I've lived in this present, now that I, you know, I'm here where I am, what else do I want for myself? How, what can I do to change 
my circumstances to get everything that I want for myself. So if you want to go out more, if you want to, you know, socialize more and have more friends or do more art or just anything, you know, enrich your life in any, in any way, then that is the time to do it. Thinking about your, your future, because then you can make all the steps that you need to do now, or at least you're more aware. At least you're more aware that there are certain things that you need to change or to do to be better, to have the future that you want, right? So with that, I find that my best way of really analyzing and like self-digesting everything is by meditating. I love to meditate. I meditate maybe, I would say out of seven days a week, I meditate five days, maybe sometimes more. Sometimes I'll meditate every day, especially if I'm really searching for an answer. And that's what I feel like meditation really helps me to do. It helps me to find clarity in finding the answers that I'm looking for. So if I, if I want to think more about something, I will shut out the world. I will find a nice, dark, quiet place to myself. I meditate with my crystals. I love crystals. I need some green. Sorry, y'all. Um, this is the sap green, a little bit of sap green. I will find a nice, quiet place where I can shut everyone off and have a moment to myself. Sometimes five minutes is all I need. Sometimes a half an hour is better. And I just think. I just sit to myself in silence. I shut every thing off and I think and it's some of the best thinking that I that I have because you get to a certain point where you're like okay you're thinking you're like oh, okay I'm meditating blah, blah 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 and you're like I don't know if this is working I don't know if what I'm doing is right I don't know if this is like this is good you know am I meditating the right way and then something starts to like it starts to kick in and you're like okay it, your brain goes into like overdrive and then all of these thoughts start rushing in and that's my favorite part of meditating. At first I didn't realize what meditation really was or like what it was for so I thought that I just needed to be like really really quiet. I thought that like that was what meditating was just like complete silence. You're not thinking anything. You're not letting your thoughts come through and that was meditation and I was very wrong. <laughs> Because that is nothing like what meditation is. It literally, your brain starts thinking about a million things and you should let it, invite it in, like let it happen. And that, that's the best way to meditate, you know, is to just let all of those thoughts happen and process it. Why am I thinking about these things? Maybe you start thinking about Oreos or something else, you know, and you, start, you think to yourself, why am I thinking about Oreos? Why? Why is this what I'm thinking about? And that's what meditation is really useful for. Okay, so I moved the canvas so we can just get a better view. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's what meditating is for. You know, it's for letting those thoughts arrive, come to you, so that way you can digest them and think about them. Sometimes you start thinking about your childhood and maybe that's a little bit heavy for you. But process it. Why is it heavy? Why? What can you do to fix it? Why? What are those thoughts that are coming to you that feel so uncomfortable? And maybe, maybe it's because you need to talk to someone about it. Um, and your thoughts are just like, you know what? Here's something that I don't find comfortable or comforting. And your brain brings it to the forefront. It's kind of like your subconscious thinking or working for you. And I know that scares a lot of people because they don't necessarily want to confront some of the things in their life that they don't love. But isn't that, that's the only way to change is to confront it and say, look, I don't love that you, that this happened to me, or I don't love that this is how I'm treating people, or this, I don't love the way my life is going. Or, you know, conversely, Maybe you love everything about your life and you're like, wow, this is great. I just want a little, I just want a little bit more of this 
or this is great and I'm thankful and grateful for where it's going and you can process that in its own, you know? So it's really up to you um, and it's really personal meditation because everyone has a different experience because everyone has a different life experience, you know? Everyone has a different story and so our minds are gonna give off different things it's going to give off different information we're going to feel different things and that's part of what makes us us and unique and our whole life story but i think that everyone benefits from having to go through some sort of strong self-reflecting meditation and i think honestly a lot of people that i notice to be kind of really sad in their lives are thinking about the things that they don't like, but not necessarily thinking about how they can change it, just thinking about how much everything sucks. You know, this sucks, I hate this. You know what, I'm gonna go sleep, I hate this. And it's like, yeah, but why don't you just maybe meditate on it, think about it, get a good constructive idea, and then come back to it and I honestly think that's what helps me a lot of times is thinking about it, coming back to it, writing about it, reflecting on it, and then maybe moving on if I need to. So yeah, that's basically one of my favorite ways to self-reflect. And you can do it in so many different ways. You can journal. I talk about journaling all the time because it's one of my favorite things to do is basically Going out, sometimes I go into a park or public space, anywhere really, um, a dark place, and I just start writing. I just start writing about my day, my past, things that are bothering me, um, things that I want to change, things that I love, people that I love, people that I don't love so much. And it's also one of my favorite ways also because you're keeping a journal and you're keeping a log. So what's great about it is that in a week, in a month, in a year, in a few years time, you can look back at what you have journaled and, and basically you can see how you've changed or how you haven't changed and how things have stayed the same. Yeah, journaling is such a great way to keep a log and to look at your past and your present. And, you know, because it's, you can look back and say, oh, wow, this is how I felt back in, I probably got paint on my shirt. <laughs> yep. Uh, I felt it. Um, you can look back and say, you know what? I This is how I felt back in 2010. And look how far I've come. Or you can say, you know what? I kind of still have these thoughts or these ideas about myself or about other people. Let me dig deeper into it because it's been five years and I still haven't changed. So, you know, it's really one of the best ways because it's almost like looking into a time machine and and figuring out you know what it is that has worked or hasn't worked how you've grown or how maybe you haven't grown um it's it's great it's a great and it's for you you know it's not for anyone else no one else is going to look at it no you know it's not for anyone else it's it's for you and that's the best part about it so you can always look at it write your deepest feelings your thoughts and uh and work from there so <sighs> i forgot how tedious leaves are I mean, shit <laughs> like spends all day just doing these leaves um so yeah journaling it's definitely one of my favorite favorites to painting uh, but yeah journaling it's one of my favorites to self-reflection and another way that I like to self-reflect would be just to kind of, hmm, I'm getting paint everywhere, oh my god. Um, another way that I like to self-reflect would be like this, painting, drawing, art. Art is a great way to self-reflect. You know, you can, especially if you're doing some sort of abstract art, and you're just going in, you're going in with your feelings, you're going in with everything and you start to you become it becomes trans like where you're just like 
doing it. You're doing it and then maybe some other thoughts start popping up in your head and you're like, yeah, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. Whatever it is that comes up in your head, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I find that art is really great for self-reflection. I think that's also why I do it so often is because I like to have that moment of clarity to think to myself, like, you know, this is where I am. This is where I, you know, have been and I like it or I don't like it. Art is very therapeutic. Art is probably one of the most therapeutic things that you can do for yourself is to just be involved in the process of art. And that that's that's for anything. That's like you could be a, a writer. That's artistic, you know? You can you can sing. That's artistic. You know, art is subjective. It means it's so it means so many different things to so many different people. And so whatever your form of art may be, I think you should really go with it. So we're getting somewhere. I'm going to start filling in colors and things like that. And as I speed this up, I want you guys to kind of meditate and think about your present and what you want your future to be and how the past has shaped it. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> areas where it's actually red, I'll do some green.
appreciate that as I'm doing this, I just keep screaming in my head, Bobby. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Wow. 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 Oh. I don't know if you can hear that shoulder crack. But every stroke is oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So just so you know, that's what's happening in my head. It's just a little wet and I like it. I think we're good here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign it. All right, and that's it. So here we are, this is my finished painting. I didn't wanna go too much into detail because we'd be here all day. And the paint, you know, it gets a little wet so it's hard to layer. But besides that, um, as I was painting and really getting in the groove of it, I started thinking about how, I can't believe this is my fourth painting with Jalisa, how much I freaking love doing this, how I know I'm not gonna stop now, this is what I'm meant to be doing, and it just excites me. So let me know down in the comments below, uh, how do you meditate? How do you self-reflect? How do you process your life? You know, we all do it in different ways, and uh, it's always great to share so we can kind of 
bounce our ideas back to back. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Um, I thank you all so much for watching. This is painting with Jaleesa number four. Oh my God. Wow, this is, wow exciting so i thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys next week bye